It's five o'clock in the morning, well before sunrise. Boxes of food are arriving for thousands of breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Inventorying the delivery is School Food Service's lead assistant, Madeline Torres. It's an early start to a day in which she and a team of 17 people will prepare more than 2,500 meals. And as a team, they will do it five days a week throughout the school year. Hola, Dora. How are you doing? How's it going? Not too long ago, Madeline and her cafeteria manager, Joe Eisenbeis, were serving just 1,000 meals per day. At a school with 3,000 students, they knew they could do better. Actively promoting the availability of both tasty and healthy meals was part of the plan. We were announcing a lot of the special foods they like. I mean, like healthy food that they like, because believe it or not, a lot of the kids actually eat healthy. Most people don't think that, but they do. Another way to increase cafeteria patronage involves creating an environment where students feel genuinely welcome. Soon after breakfast, the cafeteria is visited by a contingent of exceptional education students, quickly followed by two more waves of student customers. They are all treated to Madeline's special brand of personal attention. The most exciting time for me is when the kids come in. That is my job. When they come in, I like talking to them, finding out how their day is going. And my job is the kids. That's what brightens my day, is them. Principal Ann Kakara recognizes that good nutrition provided by a service-oriented cafeteria is essential for fulfilling her school's mission. I think it's important always for kids to eat. They, they have to have a good meal before they can start the day. Uh, the brain doesn't work if it's, the stomach is empty. Principal Kakara also appreciates the sincere care that Madeline demonstrates for all students. I think the biggest thing that she brings to the equation is how much she cares for the kids. You're going to go that extra mile when you care about kids. And she goes that extra mile no matter what it takes. My personal goal is to make sure that every child, whether they have money or not, gets fed. 